Shalom, shalom, family. I know y'all barely can see me. Storm on the way. Trees. Wind blowing. Storm coming, y'all. Storm coming, yo. And they ain't talking about Dorian, neither. Feel me? I pray y'all doing good, man. I pray y'all do make it through that storm. Through the storm. And the storm to come. Brother bore witness the other day. I forgot. He just hit me just now. He said, brother, a storm coming. A storm coming. You know. And um, I've been getting further confirmations on this. It hit me uh, about a week or so ago. Things ain't going to remain the same. It's not going to be the way it is. It's just not going to stay that way. You know what I'm saying? Everything, in a sense, seemed kind of happy-go-lucky. We in the, we, we are, we're in a new season, you know, and a lot of our people not even aware, don't even have a clue where we at and what we're going through and what we're about to face. You know, and um, prophetically, we know judgment must and has to come on this place for their wickedness and abominations and um and the wickedness is only increasing and they only continuing to justify the wicked you know what i'm saying and uh i ain't really looking at much in regards to this you know i just been praying and seeking the lord like what, what what's your will for us father you know what i'm saying and i'm reminded of ezekiel 14 I'm, i did a video on that in regards to but the way this nation, the country that we in, the way that they are handling situations with these other countries, foreign countries, is a witness to the fact that of the season we are approaching. And it's going from intimidation to domination. This is witchcraft, y'all. Oh, mystery Babylon the Great. Hey. Controlling through manipulation and intimidation and then domination that is witchcraft that what we, that's what witchcraft is and the country at this point is trying to make other countries conform through sanctions threatening war using the power um, to try to make others bow down but that's symbolic to what they're going to try to make even us do here as citizens. Um, it's going from intimidation, that general pressure. Man, dag, I'm trying to do this or trying to do this this way. It just seemed like every corner, I, you know, everything I try to do and do right, uh, I'm faced with opposition. Well, that's going to change, you know. And and the devil want people to bow. You know what I'm saying? And this is the beast. This is the beast system. So we all finna feel the pressure of it. You know what I'm saying? We all finna feel the pressure of this beast system. And, you know, it's nothing to fear. The Lord with us, we need to stay faithful and dear to the end. You understand what I'm saying? But we all need to be praying and crying out to the most our God for the deliverance which he promised us. You know, and I believe he raising up Pharaoh in this, in this day, in this pride and arrogancy, bolstering his power and his might, you know, to be brought down by him himself. You see what I'm saying? So... The pressure is real, you know, and um, believers, all you true, genuine believers, man, you know, we're we, we going to go through persecution. We're going to suffer like our Lord and Savior Christ. And um, our people, you know, our very own people believe in brothers and sisters in the faith or the Hebrew community is, 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 is has ramped up the uh, uh, persecutions against the true believers, condemning and judging and ridiculing and just can't let folks be and work their ministry all up in the midst and um, judging and criticizing and trying to make people keep the law you understand what i'm saying that ain't your job to do to try to make nobody keep no law you know the most i ain't get you no authority to do that you know what i'm saying who is you even our lord and savior ain't forced the law on nobody you know what i'm saying so um people falling away left and right and it's getting wicked and the judgment coming never before have this many of our people knew who they were with all these events and the wars and rumors of wars the earthquakes the pestilence the 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 um 
the the whirlwinds which the Lord sending through, like all these things is happening, is ramping up, is getting worse. More people falling away from the faith right now than ever before. Alternative lifestyle, homosexuality is being taught in schools. They took the Bible out, you understand that, and, and, and bringing that mess in and taking prayer out of took prayers out of school. All this stuff going on, y'all. This is science, you know, for the believers. You know, we need to look up because our redemption draw. Nah, you know what I'm talking about, but believers, true genuine believers. You finna be proven. And the tears is finna be proven too. And they're being bundled up so they can be snatched up and thrown into the fire, you know. And it's like, I don't know, you know, exactly what to say about the season altogether, but I do know domination, you know, because that's what this government is doing right now. They're dominating right now and um, intimidating right now. And it's going to lead to the utmost war. And many countries, are, you know, going to be provoked um to, to 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 wrath you know and when you get put back in the corner you, you what, what can you do so believers you hold into the faith they're going to try to make you bow down and boot over to the system into their new bootleg religion they're going to try to uh concoct which which uh, which is liberality which allow any and everybody to do what they want and the most High gave me revelation on even that that the religion that they form and concoct is going to be the uh, the foundation of it is going to be the doctrine of Jezebel, which you can do whatever, however, however much you want. You know what I'm saying? And then claim the grace of God and do that mess, man. So the scriptures speak on that in Revelations in regards to those pastors and those who yield themselves to that, that mess and allow that in their churches, you know, and allow that in, in their teachings and preachers. But we got to stay faithful to the end. We the children of the Most High God. You understand that he's going to deliver us. It's going to be a remnant that make it through all this. You know what I'm saying? And Jacob trouble must happen, you know. But the most I promise that Jacob is going to be delivered out of it. And persecution is going to happen to the church because many are not really true believers. Many are going to compromise. Many have already compromised. You know what I'm saying? But all I know is that I'm just grateful for the revelations. I said, Dad, you know, Lord, help me. But y'all check out Ezekiel. 14 uh maybe at verse 11 and on but um it touches on though noah though job and daniel lived in this land dwelt in this land they ain't gonna say they daughters so you won't be saved by your lineage brothers and sisters you understand that but on account of your works of faith you understand what i'm saying your ways and your doings your behavior how you living right now according to the faith you know stand steadfast and hold to the faith and the examples of faith we have is noah you understand that who built that ark and he, he, he dipped when the most I told him to dip. Then we have um, Job who endured many trials, many tribulations and overcame. You understand that? And then we have Daniel who was thrown in the lion's den, who was who was delivered, who the Lord shut the mouths of the lions. You understand what I'm saying? So them are three examples of faith and the examples we have to learn from, you know what I'm saying, and glean from. And we don't know which way or which predicament or situation we'll be in in regards to that. But you want to have the faith of Noah, Job, and Daniel. Whether it's meant for us to go through all the persecutions or not, we need to have the faith to overcome. And if you don't have it, then you, we need to be building that up right now. So we ain't got time for the distractions. And one of the main things the enemy doing is using um, social media drama and stuff like that to keep you distracted. But you need to stay focused. You understand what I'm saying? And you got to separate yourself from the things that's consuming so much of your time and get into the word of God right now, you know, and, and, and link in with brothers and sisters who serious about the faith. You understand that who 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 are um, being nurtured up into a faith to die for. You know what I'm saying? Because we believe in our Lord and say we'll suffer persecution. But true goal is true goal. When we go through that fire, feel me? True goal, true goal. It is what it is. So let's keep building, building on the foundation, which is Christ. You know, I love y'all. I wish y'all the best. Ezekiel 14, I think it's verse 11 on. You read the whole thing. But it's a time we're in. They're going to try to force you to submit to the wickedness, y'all. It's going to try to force you to submit and accept um, alternate lifestyles or at least agree with it. And they're going to want to document. They're going to want to seal. They're going to want to stamp on it. The devil want Yo, yo, he, he wants you to sign off on it. You know what I'm saying? So y'all be careful and be aware of the times we in. And this government is going to try to force you to do things you don't want to.